Hello friends, alright so we are back again and uh, today's video is gonna be about also health and also physical looks. Now this video is gonna be about uh, the feminine neck, the female neck specifically we are talking about so we are clear right from the start. Okay. So this whole thing started, uh, I don't know when, you know a few years back and I used to go to Bailey's at that time uh, in Chicago I think and uh, someone I knew and we were just joking around and uh, this guy a friend of mine he says oh I you know like uh, somebody with the uh, like excuse me hold on something is in my eye uh, it's the stupid fan is blowing on me so okay so 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 this is the story so so he says uh, he wants to be hooked up uh, you know <coughs> excuse me a woman girl uh, who has appealing physique obviously you know everybody's looking for a good looking person to be uh, with so okay so so uh, what I knew since I was going to the valleys with my wife so I joke around with my wife and my wife knew these this girl she was talking to she's she said oh my husband has a friend and this 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 would you like that she just joked and she asked me I said well I don't know I'll ask the guy maybe unless he's serious so we brought them together so she was working out she was in extremely good physical condition she has nice abs and you know uh, beautiful butt you know sticking out which is considered to be sexy and she has uh, okay so 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 she has a muscular body I could tell so well I did notice something but since I wasn't the one who's gonna date uh, go out on a date it was you know a friend of mine so I said oh, okay you know this she's she's very good looking she's muscular everything she has no fat and she has abs she are more defined so they go out and date and he says to me um, oh that was horrible I said what how's that horrible she's a good looking woman he says oh no the the neck turned me off. I said, what? She says, I just had to look at her constantly because you were sitting on the table and obviously the, the face is attached to the head and the head is attached to the neck and the neck is attached to the shoulder. So he says, I had to, I couldn't stop looking at her neck muscles and it was fat. And, and then he says, she has a shoulder of like a, a guy or something. I said, oh my God, I said, I thought you were into abs and all that muscle stuff, no? He says, yeah, but <laughs> she looked like uh, she, you know, uh, oh my God. So, he said, I just can't take, unsee the neck. It's too muscular. And her, her shoulders are big. She she looks like a butch lesbian or something. Now, I, I, I be <laughs> These are not my words. That I'm the messenger. That person told me that what she thought about her. Well, obviously, these are not good things to say about somebody. But that's what he was telling me um, when the date was finished. Okay, so uh, I don't know my video goes out and focus or something, so it confuses me. Okay, but anyway, so so I said so I then remembered something I said I did notice some well since I was not gonna not the one who's gonna be dating her I did notice that neck thing and the shoulder thing and uh, all right so uh, so he says it's 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 not appealing the, the thick neck another strange story I was gonna tell you uh, this guy says to now this happened somewhere else in a different city more recently. He just told the woman they were dating, why don't you lose some fat and your neck is too big or something and then I like slender neck, more slim slender. So she started going to the gym. Lo and behold she did work out, she hired a professional trainer. She paid a lot of money. She loses a lot of whole bunch. I saw her. Excuse me. She lost a whole bunch of weight. 
She looked like a different person. She has all that fat gone. She has this ass, six pack ab and everything. She has nice shoulder and and again and then the neck was gone. I mean the neck wasn't that fat. But here was a pro well, according to her, him, the guy was dating her. To me it didn't matter because I wasn't dating her. So he says her neck is more smaller but it's not slender, it's muscular. It's a big turn off. I didn't know that. Then I go Twitter these and subreddits and these uh, like a subculture thing, the, you know, where the guys, start, I'm not, I'm just saying that, you know, I, I start noticing that, that they were saying the muscular neck is a, a turn off or something. Again, it's not me, I'm just the messenger. That's it. So, um, I'm going to turn this fan off because I think this fan is messing things up. Okay. Okay, so the fan is off. Is it going to go right here somewhere? All right. Ah, that fan was causing vibration and it was messing up everything. All right. So we go back to our story. Okay, so, so he said that that must, he says she did lost the weight and she lost the weight from the neck and the neck was more slimmer but it was more muscular so he was turned off by her uh, the looking at the neck every day because you know when you're talking to somebody obviously you, you your face is attached to your head and your head is unfortunately attached to, attached to your neck so so I, I, I look I'm not joking I'm not mocking but I'm saying is that uh, even on the, on the camera, you observe person's neck, you observe their hands, you observe their shoulders. It depends how, how you know, but the neck is, is, is going to be visible. Even you can't, you know, in even in Zoom things. Uh, uh, so there are more chances because neck is obviously closer to your face. So he says that she did lose fat from the neck, but it's too muscular. On the top of that, he says the shoulders are too big now. I said, you told her to lose weight, didn't you? And she lost and she, oh, and then, I, I, I don't know. Then he says that her, her face is like, like that or something. That she lost weight from the face or something. So, um, so I, I, I don't know. This was the story I was going to mention. And, uh, uh, then I met a third person they had they mentioned the same thing now I don't know how far that's true I'm just telling you these two incidents uh, incidents that happen and you know I was like a witness like third person there but wait I wasn't there on their date but when once the date was finished and over then I was taking my walk and my they, he saw me on the street we start talking then he mentioned so I don't know what first hand what why well, he didn't said anything on her face. Obviously you don't wanna say, you know, bad thing on other people. It's, it's not come on, it's not polite. Because she was trying to be doing something positive for the relationship. Okay, so so that happened and and uh, you know obviously uh, slender neck for no muscular necks are, are good for men. Uh, that's that's you know obviously and and big shoulders obviously they are more considered to be uh, you know more suited to men that then they look more manly um, so when she was trying to lose the weight on the neck so when she started doing the neck exercises so what happens is she ended up building these things too right here these muscles so they were sticking out too and the neck was very muscular that's what he told me. okay so the slender neck is supposed to be very appealing and I, I th th one of the few things I noticed that it's, it's very appealing as a man the female slender it's not just a slender neck there are two components to it slender like thin obviously slim thin and then the length of it so so the length of it to also uh, well, obviously, it give, uh, I, I don't know, but but so that's considered even in almost all the cultures. Well, I shouldn't say never all because you know it always turns out to be some exception. But most of the cultures I noticed, as we can see on the internet, 
that the female thin slender and long neck is considered to be uh, desirable for females uh, so so uh, so what what my point here is once you start to exercise if you lose weight through well you you can do weight lifting is very good but make sure once you are weight lifting and if you want to lose weight from the neck don't do any neck exercise directly number one once you do something with your with your arms and you you're gonna lift you're gonna do you, you you're gonna you see the the stress here stress right here these things are gonna pop out so as soon as you do this do this do this do this do this you're gonna do this any exercise involves arms that's gonna that can create a tension right here and I as I can see I can touch here right now and I'm, I'm doing this I'm lifting my arms and I can see the pressure and the tension there so you're gonna end up building that so maybe do the cardio once you do the cardio it's gonna flush and drain the flat fat out of your body now once once that out then if you exercise your muscles are gonna be more visible so when they are more visible then you can lower the uh, you can go you can you know don't do the same exercise anymore because you can see the muscles are growing so you don't want to do that so for females so 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 any arm exercise you do do it mildly what I can tell you is this stretching yoga stretching some of these exercises that I put in my other videos and I'm gonna make a special video for this neck feminine neck exercise not number one number two also to increase the length well I don't know how you can increase the length but if you are a younger person if you lose some weight you do some exercise believe it or not even half an inch or quarter of an inch matters think about it so it's like every like if somebody is five nine it it's considered to be you know that you but somebody six two that is a few inches it adds up so your neck is already small it's not into feet so if you add can add a half an inch or one inch it would be very visible and also you gotta build now here's another trick so you would know to build the neck muscles don't use weights even in your arm well you can use some few weights and very light ones for for the neck it's the stretching exercise that matters it's gonna make your neck more slender the muscles you're not putting a weight on them so they're gonna be lean they're gonna be lean and long and slender that's the beauty of uh, gonna be about the neck exercises and that's my next video is gonna be coming up and also like I mentioned anything you do with your arm or with your hand you're gonna wait you are using this muscle it's I can I can feel the tension right here I can I can feel it so so I don't know I can't tell you don't do it. I would say do do very minor dumbbell with a smaller weight okay so you're not stressing and telling the the the, the 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 muscle to grow too much um, so all right so this was the video about the uh, feminine neck and uh, so uh, again that's what I you know had this stuff and I just put it out there I'm just a messenger and I would be making another video about the uh, slender neck and how to get it and possibly make it longer another video I will be making especially once you lose the neck neck weight and you lose the fat your skin gets stretched out and then you have wrinkles here you end up having wrinkles here so that's gonna be the next video coming up and that's gonna address that all right so this was our video and about the feminine neck and thanks again for watching until we meet the next time